Hey guys, guys. welcome back to the Jazzy Podcast. We are bringing you another episode, August 6th, Sunday, which is a lot earlier than our average episodes. I feel like if we tell you that the podcast is filmed earlier, you guys are like, I don't want to watch it. But bro, watch this one. I don't know what's going to happen, but just know it's the tea. Yeah, we're going into this very much like nothing in my brain. For me, like nothing in my brain. But I think those are the best like type of podcasts because we come up with something like so much stuff to talk about on the spot. I agree to an extent. Actually, okay, so I guess lot of last podcast we had gotten a little too excited and we were screaming no and were they were me, they me it was me oh my so i think we're gonna lower my mic oh that's a, a good start <laughs> hey today's podcast is off to a good start no, i'm just kidding <laughs> because they were saying that like when you speak it's normal oh, you know who, no don't put yours down oh put my normal like normal like higher a little bit yes because they were saying that when you speak they would put their um volume back up and then when i would speak they would have to put it down and that no no put it put i it feel down. like it's because i can't hear you it's because our headset but put mine down more yes okay i feel like there, there we, we go. go and then put our headsets up a little bit mine's loud oh mine isn't i can't really hear myself okay you, you put, okay <laughs> it was a thousand okay. buttons okay um but yeah they were basically saying that and the most annoying thing in a podcast is where one person is screaming out their fucking mind and the other person is barely speaking. I feel like on the Impulsive podcast, we listen to it pretty often and every week. And Mike is like the loudest one in the group. Yeah. So whenever like Mike's on, I have my steering, my hand on the steering wheel, I just go like that. Yeah. And then I have to turn it back up, turn it back. It's like a whole movie going. It keeps me awake, to be honest. But it's annoying. Yeah, and it's like, great for road trips, I swear. It's annoying. And like, we love Mike. I feel like Mike's my favorite one from, is it me or is there an, echo there is an echo but it's because we're filming in here but on the mic there's no echo are you sure i'm pretty sure I hear like like the audios is this on it is on see you're talking see? good right there you're not you're, yeah, before you weren't i don't know something sounds weird anyways yeah um mike is definitely our favorite on the impulsive thing because i feel like he has like the most energy but it does suck because when it comes to like mics and stuff, it's like up and down. I feel like that's how that's it is the with same us. with us. Yeah, that's the same with yeah. our podcast with the Jab Two podcast. So from, is like, nah, imagine. <laughs> so from now on, we're gonna put my mic down and Jake's up, so it can like even it out. I swear, I still hear that weird audio. It nah, it's because when I'm not talking, like I'm because I'm louder, so you're good. I swear, it's not like there's no echo okay. in here. They can't hear an okay. echo because I can't hear an echo. I hope so because for us, like on the headset, it sounds like ugly. I think we're not used to this spot. That's probably why. Yeah, I think we like the couch again. We literally, oh my gosh, it's so zoomed in. We should have probably put the camera a little back, but <laughs> we're back on our kitchen island, guys. We're back in our roots where we first started. I like this one a lot more better or a lot better because look at the podcast mics. Like, I don't even have to touch them. There's no, there's not going to be any noise coming from my island on the, on the podcast. Remember like yeah. the, when the mic was hanging over here, I'm like grabbing it. It's like, <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I like this setup. I do because it looks a little more professional and stuff. But I really like the couch. <laughs> I do, I do. I don't like the couch because I have to sit all the way back in the couch. Like, not, not about a short couch, but it's long. So it's like yeah. really low to the floor, but it goes like extended. Like, yeah, so if you're up. short, if you're short and you're sitting all the way in the back, you can't touch the floor. It's like the, the chairs in classrooms. Yeah, I fucked up. I didn't know it was going to be like that. So when I purchased that couch, I thought it was like, like I got an extra long one, but I thought it was longer, like length, not width. So when I got the freaking couch, this bitch is wide, bro. So like our living room should be a lot bigger than what it is, but I messed up and I got the wrong, whatever. It was a custom order, so I couldn't return it. It was this whole big deal. But yeah, so our couch is a little like, it's a whole, but I like it. I feel like it's super comfortable. No, yeah. it's great for movies and stuff because you have to go all the way back and like you, you have a lot of space. But when you're like trying to do like a professional event or something like a podcast, it's not yeah, that good. It doesn't work the best, which we have a podcast room. We just haven't actually worked on it. And that's that. I feel like that's the next plan. You think so? Dude, we've been saying that for like three months, but we haven't. We've been too busy to go on actually do it. We've been doing everything else except that, you know? Yeah, I feel like that's going to be like a two week mission for sure. So I've been putting it off because but that's going to be so crazy. Like full. Uh, putting the walls with uh, soundproof like stuff and everything like that, dude. That's gonna be amazing. Oh, I didn't know we were doing that. You know how to soundproof you, rooms? I don't. No, all you have, you can fill it up with like TVs or like anything else. Oh. If you fill it up, it it gets soundproof. Because right now, I feel like right now, because it's like kind of clean and everything. There's a an echo that we hear in the it's background. It's not clean. It's it was clean, but it someone was. but someone came. <laughs> that's all your stuff, bro. <laughs> I worked so hard today to clean the kitchen, clean the living room, and then I look right now and it's not that clean. Babe, it's just uh, a shirt and a short. And, and a camera and your your bag, your keys, everything. <laughs> I was just like the GoPro cam where you could like switch the back uh, the back view on or something, but nah. Um, yeah, it's been a I don't know what's going on lately, but I feel like out of it, 
and in the worst way possible. I th- I think it's because you've been filming every single day. Yeah, I'm kind of like that's sick like of that's it. how it is in vlogging. It's like you want to film all these videos, you get good money, but then at the end of the day, it comes with a cost. It comes like I don't want to work anymore. I don't want to film this video. I don't want to film anything. But yeah, that's vlogging how it's been. Because the worst. Yeah, but like, see, that's what you're doing to yourself right now. And then tomorrow, the next day, you're still gonna have to be filming, traveling. That's even worse on you. I know. I'm kind of like sick of it. To be honest, I'm like. Mm maybe i did and i knew that it could happen because like it's happened to me before where i did go in like a little um what is it called burnout i hate the word burnout let me tell you why because i feel like a lot of people use that word incorrectly people mistake burnout to being tired and this mic is pissing me off can you put maybe it's my headset what it sounds so ugly in my headset i really hope this audio is not bad for (laughs) you guys because if it is i'm gonna lose my mind let me see she's she's overthinking it i think what's this that's my sweat Take it back, take it back. I. Oh my it's too damn hot in here, but it's because the AC vent is directly above us. So if it turns on, it's gonna Is go straight into the mic. Okay? It's I'm hot, bro. Hey, I'm I'm taking in the heat for y'all. Trust. Oh my, babe, it's not that hot. It's because when you're a bad bitch oh like me. Oh my gosh, men are so dramatic. All of a sudden, <laughs> men this, men that. But when it comes to dramatic, that's something we're no, not, right? No, it's not that you're a guy. Because Gianna sweats a lot, too. I just realized that <laughs> Nah, then it's a guy thing. <laughs> I would never say that, That's Gianna. my older brother right there, for real. That's fucked up. <laughs> no, you guys sweat a lot. I think we're like, it's because we're bomb, you know? We're bad bitches. Yeah, you guys are bad bitches. Period. Yeah, because I, I don't sweat like that. Nah? No. We you don't, don't. My mom sweats like that. I Bro, don't Bro, now put like on that. deodorant two days ago and she still has it on. Okay, nah. that's a lie. Um, what were we on? It's because you're on you're in a burnout. So you're saying something on the, along the terms no, of burnout. I, I don't want to say I'm in a burnout, but I was going to say that I hate the word burnout because people use it wrong. And like a true burnout is one of the worst things that could happen to you. Isn't there a synonym for burnout? It's another word. No, no, no. Tired? No. Uh, Rango was telling me... It, it's like not a like a pit, but like a, funk. a slump. A slump funk? Yeah, I know a what you're slump. talking about. Yeah, see, that's like not a burnout. That's like pretty that, damn close to it, but not a burnout. So you think a burnout's like worse than a slump? Yeah, dude, a burnout can take people years to get out of. No way. Yeah. It's really, really bad, and people do throw that word around a lot. And like I my heart goes out to anyone that's in a burnout because burnout can happen with anything. Like it can happen with I, any area of your I life. I feel like it happens a lot with sports, especially in high school and like or with the competitive parents when they push you, push you, and push you to do sports and yes. stuff. I feel like that's when the burnout happens the most because the, like, the child is forced to do this since a young age. And what if they, at the end of like their, their high school years, they don't want to do it anymore. But they have like the guilt of uh, their parents spending all this time and money and like them not doing it is going to like go f- on their fault. Like it's going to be their, their fault at the end of the day. Like they spent all that money, you know, and they yeah. didn't go pro. I think that's a good um, burnout. That, that would be something that's burnout. You know, but it could also happen in work too, huh? No, it happens in every area of your life. You can be burnt out from being a mom. Like you can be mm. burnt out from anything. You're burnout right. is like a something that can happen in any area. And people argue this and say that it only happens in work, but that's not true. It can happen in anything. And I've, like, I've only seen it like happen in uh in like the sports side of this. What? No, I've seen it happen. No, in no, work. no, 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 no. Like you're saying it. People only say it happens in work, but I'm saying like I've seen it in sports. Oh yeah, that it does happen in different places. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like burnout's like the worst thing. And if you're are in a burnout right now, I feel so freaking bad for you, and I hope that you get out of it. But it's very scary, and you have to be really careful with it. You have to learn how to manage your time. And like, I feel like for people that obviously work really, really hard and work like fifty hour weeks and stuff like that. I feel like for those people, it's a lot harder to kind of balance stuff and like. Yeah, because like I feel like with you, if if you're having a burnout, you're gonna take one to two, if anything more, days off, and you'll be fine. I'll be fine, yeah. But if people work hard jobs, like fifty hour weeks, where they need to get those hours in, and they try to take like a a, a day to do their hobby, paint or whatever they have to do, they no. can't because they can't afford that. People can lose their job that way. Yeah, that's why it's really, really like a tough situation. But anyways, out of that, um, today is sunday and we're filming this podcast because i'm leaving on a trip in two days so i won't be here for thursday when this podcast goes up um i wonder what i'm gonna be doing on thursday when this podcast goes up i think you're gonna be like oh I, you don't you want to know what i think you're gonna do what i think you're gonna be at 999,000 subscribers i truly I think really it really hope i don't hit a million when i'm not home. i want you to hit a million on friday that Me would be too. cool because on the way back that would be so so cool Me too. that way i could celebrate it with you mm-hmm. yeah i really want to like be here and celebrate it with you because i do feel like you were like a huge part as to why i hit a million and it would suck if i'm not with you when i that hit would suck. that would suck like i think 
I think if on Thursday that you're at 999, I'm going to go like on a TikTok live and have like random people subscribe, you know? I feel like that's what I'm going to do, 100%. On Thursday? Uh -huh. No, because then I might hit it on Thursday. Okay, then the Friday. On the Friday when I get we're back gonna go home. On a, we're going to go on a sub ramp page and get Nat to 1 million subscribers. So if you're not subscribed yeah. to her right now, and it's a Thursday, and she's at nine hundred nine. But listen, listen. If she, if you're not subscribed to her, and she's at nine nine nine, don't subscribe until the Friday. That's yeah. that's the key. No, no, no. But you know what? what I'm posting butt. a video on Monday and on Thursday. Okay, so Monday will for sure get it to nine nine nine. If anything is gonna get it to two, is it a good video? Nah, it's pretty mid. Well, what is it? The one going up on Monday tomorrow. It's like a self care video. <laughs> oh, that's hell. No, you're gonna go nine nine and seven. But nah, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, stop it. I feel like this is another thing that's difficult because I feel like, are you okay? What happened? I didn't see what. Did you hit the corner or something? It doesn't hurt when you hit it. It hurts after you get hit, bro. Well, I'm what happened? I hit my elbow. Oh, you hit your funny bone. <laughs> Laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for sure getting one. something tonight. Nah, <laughs> when you laugh at her joke and it's not funny. That was funny. Nelly would have laughed. That's why I like Nelly better. Nelly on top. <laughs> nah, um, Nelly. Never mind. Never mind. Um. Anyways, yeah. So what were we on? Yeah, mid videos. Yeah. So you're saying something like, I hate mid videos. Like, or my, my no, mid videos. No, because I feel like. On my channel, I really want to kind of make it like, okay, I'm going to have like one exciting video this week and then I'm going to have one more calm video because I feel like people don't want to see like too much chaos, but they also don't want to see too much calmness because that's boring. So I wanted to have a balance. So like, I don't want to do like a cinematic Seattle video every single day. Well, right? that's, that's the most realistic thing to do because if you don't do that, then obviously it's going to take four days for each video to be filmed, another three days for it to be edited. So one video every week or every like eight days. So you have to you have to have like I guess a mid video. It's not a mid video because it's, it's so not, funny. No, the video is really really good, but mid video is like self care shopping. Like that's it's because those are filmed in one to two days. So I guess that's why you say they're mid videos. Yeah, because it didn't take me that long to film. Damn. Like a I good, guess I got mid videos. Bro. <laughs> no, no, but like my filming is different than yours. So nah, like, no, I guess you, I was you just can't compare it to. But anyways, yeah, that was. There's like so much going on right now, and like that Seattle video, they loved it. Which we knew, like, it was going to be good. That was such a good know. video. It was, it was really difficult to film, but it was such a, like, a stretch. And, like, I was outside of my comfort zone filming that video. So, it was really good. Especially, like, the outcome. Like, it has so many views, so much engagement. So, I'm really the proud. The engagement is everything. It's because people really loved it. And that was, like, the best feeling ever was, like, producing something that people are eating up. Like, that is just, oh, I just, I'm so happy about that. Yeah, you're not pregnant, but you delivered. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm on a roll today, bro. Another day, another slave. for okay. real. Okay, so you can't take my saying after you shit talk it. Bro, you put it in my face. I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it up. Oh, my God. I'm going to munch. Okay, All right. you're done. So the drinks of the day. Today, Nat has, what do you have? Homemade coffee made from Nat's Cafe. Sheesh, Nat's Cafe coming soon. I got Awa, a.k.a. water. Look at this. You're never using my cup again because right. you don't get to customize my cup. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pull it up to the, to the freaking thing. If you can't, if you're listening to the podcast, I'm sorry, but I'm just like showing them my cup that I'm drinking it out of. It literally says I'm doing my dog mom shit, but I roll over and it says dog dad shit. Like you can't do that. Why would you? Okay, you did not eat. Hey, <laughs> bro, wait, back it up a little bit. Cause you're already up, you know. Might as well. Might as, well. Might as you zoomed it in. That's why. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, it's fine. It's good. Look at. If I don't zoom it in, do you guys see that on the bottom, bottom right of your screen? There's a faucet. They can see the faucet. Look oh it. shit! They can't. No, they can't. Oh yeah, look it. If it's up oh, here. Oh no no no! no, no, no. <laughs> oh, clean the water off. Oh no! Stop it. See, that's why. Like, I had to zoom it in a little bit. Guys, guess what? Chicken butt. What? Jacob is taking me to a game. Oh, yeah. Dude, so you guys know Nat. If you do know Nat, you know Nat's the biggest, like, sports hater of history. So, mm -hmm. in October, we're going to be going to a football game. And I'm very excited because I've never been to a football game. You've never been to a football game. And it's going to be both of our first football games in the, like, of our history of living together, being existent. Yeah, he's trying to definitely get me into space. And I think it's really cool because I feel like, Obviously, I don't watch football, but, like, I'm going to be there for the vibes. I'm going to eat the food, the music, the vibes, you know? And I just, I love that we're doing this kind of stuff. It's going to be cool, dude. Yeah, but, I'm really excited. I want you to know that I, I, like, every game that I've been to, there's always people that go out of hand. Especially if you're watching it at the house with your family. Like, there's always people that go in, like, the extra mile to 
root for their team. You know, so, so there's going like to be fights and stuff. Yeah. So there's yeah. going to be drinks involved over at the stadium. Like everyone goes for the vibes. Right. So if you're going to go for the vibes and you're over age and like the drinking age, you're going to yeah. drink. So people do get out of hand. It's, it's definitely not, like bound to happen. So I just want to like let you know that. Yeah. So that's one of the reasons why my parents never let us go to games when we were younger was because so they would always say that we could do concerts. But we could never do games because at concerts, everybody's there to support one person. Oh, yeah. Games, there's two parties. Same for boxing matches. So. No, boxing matches are bad, too, to be honest. Well, yeah, that's what I said. Same for oh, boxing. Oh, okay, I get yeah, you. Yeah, like for any of that stuff, like my parents would never because I guess like when my parents were like younger, they were in their clubbing era. I guess they went <laughs> to this club, right? And then um, there was this huge fight, like this huge fight that broke out. And like, I guess. Um, the guys had pulled out like guns and it was like really, really bad. They got traumatized. So ever since that day, my parents had never been to a concert, never been to a game, never to nothing. And they told us to like never go to games because it's scary. Obviously, now that we are grown and adults, now we know that there is this type of shit everywhere, like everywhere. Like there'll be a freaking fight in your grocery store. Like it doesn't matter. <laughs> it really, obviously games are probably going to be, pro especially football games. And that football game we're going to is like the football game. Okay, but it's not a Super Bowl, but it's going to be pretty big. It's not like your average high school football game, <laughs> right? Like, nah, and even not. then there's fights at those fucking games. So like, you so, know? so my football team is the Dallas Cowboys and that's like my whole family's football team. So it's pretty hard to like to get a game since they're from Dallas they're from Texas. But when they go to the away games and play like uh, teams like the Rams and the who is it now? Chargers. All right. Sports talk, whatever. Then it's going to be easier for us to go from Bakersfield to L.A. than it is to be from Bakersfield to, what is it, Texas and all that stuff. So we're going to be going to L.A. Rams. I think it's L.A. Rams versus Cowboys game. And it's going to be cool because we have good seats. We're going to be, like, right behind the end zone. What's the end zone? Is it, like, where you could get hit? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds to me like we get No, no, no. The end zone the end zone's like, where they score a touchdown. So, so like, the end where you get or hit. That big, that big rectangle that has color, that's the end zone. I'm not, I never paid attention to football games. I was there for the vibes. I was there for the honest. boys. I was there for making I the posters. The, yeah. Go 13. Uh. Yeah. Okay, you're done. For sure done. <laughs> I bet you made a poster. Go whatever number. You're like the number one in my heart. Or number one on the field, number no, one in my I heart. I say that. I was there. I was making posters because I was an ASB. It's never that serious. Mm -hmm. Like I had to make the nah, that was that I girl. Was never with the football player. Not, not, that not, is not. Ugly. No, you were the girl at the soccer games or football games with the posters. Like every game, I've like never done poster, that. poster, poster, poster. I've never done that. Well, I was always at the games with the posters, but it's because I was an ASB. And if you're an ASB, you know, like go. Well, at my school, I think like the mascot was Cavaliers, so it was like go Cavs. Da da da. Right? It was never a number. If you want to do something behind your parents' back, y'all definitely join ASB yeah. because it's like the legal way. In the school system to like go say say at school longer, okay? That's yeah, the that's the, the key. Well, that's why I did it. Yes, but then my parents forced me to get out of it because I was getting away with so much. Yeah, you're never home, so like obviously your parents are gonna you're gonna be coming home at five p.m. six p.m. every day. If anything, that's minimum. Early. minimum. Yeah, high school is B is very rough. Like it's rough because like rally nights. Were you ever you were in ASB, right? No, but we did have rallies, so I would have to go. Why would you go? For our rallies, it was like the whole school goes. No, 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 no. Listen, listen to this. So for rally days, these were the hardest days. Oh, I stayed one time for the rally day, the day before the rally. That was the worst day of my life. No, no, listen. This is how bad it is. So you're prepping for a rally about two weeks before the actual rally. And by prepping, I mean you stay every single day after school. I believe we would stay till like six. So you get out at three two fifty five and you would have to stay till six making posters arranging stuff and it, every team kind of had like a little committee that they were up so there's like the media team like the decor team like there's just everybody has it like their own assigned team right so whatever team you're on everybody's making posters though like at one point because these are murals like you're making these big ass like i don't know how to explain it to you like I don't know what 20 feet looks like, but that's what I'm going to say at the top of my head. These big ass posters that go through one side of the bleachers to the other side of the bleachers. Like these are big. Can you like, is that clicking? Like it's like a huge, I don't know if I'm making sense or not. Yeah. Yeah. Like the big ones that go behind. Okay. So these are huge, huge, huge pieces of paper that you stack two. So like your average poster size and width, you would stack two and then tape it together. And then you would draw on top of that. And oh shoot. we had like sketchers and like people would go in and, you know, make these I don't think if you're not an ASB, you don't realize the amount of work that this is. Yeah, right? I don't. Because there was so many posters, like especially um, in the volleyball season. And uh, what, what was the other one? 
volleyball and basketball season, like when they had the games and the posters inside the thing. Those yeah. were like the there were so many posters around the whole gym. So imagine the um, the hard work I had, I had to go into putting. And those all are the stuff hard, up. but those are nothing because those are single posters. So like the ones that are hard are the rally doubles because those you would literally have to stack two these pieces of paper are like almost as tall as the island or a little taller, and you would stack two of those and duct tape them together. Not Ooh. duct tape them; it was the clear tape too. So there's this massive, massive. Po- they're heavy. They're just huge, right? So we would spend like two weeks prior to a rally staying every single day till 6 p.m. And keep in mind, if you're taking like, like I was taking AP classes. So like. Get homework. Do And rent. I get home and my parents are mad as hell because why are you at school so late? Da, 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 right. So it's like you're dealing with freaking high school shit. Like your your cl- high school shit, high school drama, high school boy, whatever. And then you're dealing with ASB, your AP classes and your strict ass parents. Right. Damn. And then on top of that, I was doing YouTube. So that was a whole other thing. Oh. But, but hey, we, but look, look where it got you. Look where it got you. I know, but a lot of it wasn't necessary. Like, I wish I didn't have to be an ASB so I could get away with shit. Anyways, we would have to do these big old posters, right? And then you have to, the day before the rally, you stay till like 12 p.m. Uh, There's no, like, this is crazy. ASB is crazy because, like, how is that allowed? How are kids who are under the age of 18 whatever so you stay till like 12 and that's like if you're lucky and then the next day you have to come in at like five in the morning to do balloons to do the arches to do all of this stuff even though you got no sleep the day before cool part is though rally days you don't have to go to any of your classes so i guess if you didn't do the homework the day before you get to miss the whole day what yeah well because you wake up at 5 a.m you go do all the stuff like all the balloons and don't think you're like chilling in the freaking gym like you're like doing balloons and like all kinds of stuff that needs to be done. And then the rally starts. And then you're literally like a zombie the whole rally because you're so tired. And then the rally ends and you have to clean everything up and rip up <laughs> these posters that you just spent two weeks on and just throw it all in the trash. But it, it was an era. I really did like ASB. It was really cool. And I got away with a lot because of ASB. I, uh, I feel like the high school years just passed by too quick, bro. Don't you think? Or nah? It was long for you. It was probably long. You're miserable. <laughs> Yeah, I was miserable in high school. Damn. It was like the worst years of my life for sure. For me, that's crazy because for me, those are like the best, the best years of my life until I met you. And I don't know, it would, it would take a lot for me to go back because, like, again, you had to wake up early and then homework on top of that. The homework I had but was do you super realize, hard. Realize, like, we didn't have to wake up that early. You have to be at school by eight. That's not that early. Okay, so no, no, no. I took a long time getting ready. I had a shower. I had a shower. You still take a long Iron, time. Exactly. So I had a shower. Get ready. Like, iron my clothes, get ready, dress up, and then do my hair last. Or actually, mm-hmm. I'll do my hair first because if, if I hopped up the shower and my hair dried up, I can't, like, do anything. I'll get mad. <laughs> oh, no. Jacob mad at 7 a.m.? Jeez. Yeah. Oh, no. Not an era I want to be in. So then. <laughs> Shut up. Wait, but you know what's cool about you guys? What? Okay, let me tell you the difference. This is what? what's so cool about you guys. That you all are, like, a year apart, right? So when you were a junior, I'm going to guess Jason was a sophomore. Joel, Joel wasn't in school yet. And no, what do you jo- mean? Joel was Joel was in school, so my youngest brother was in school when I was a senior. So I'm I'm two grades above him. Okay, okay. Well, me and Nelly are like five grades, right? So when I was in high school, Nelly and Tito were in elementary school. But when I was a senior, I didn't have school. So like it was like the the COVID days. Yeah, but look, because Nelly and Tito had. There was a point where Nelly was in middle school, Tito was in elementary school, and I was in high school. Right? Well. One of the fuckers had to mess it up for everybody, right? Uh, so one of them had like zero period, which means that they were into school at like 6.55. So guess what? My mom wasn't doing two rounds. So even though my school started at 8, everybody leaves the house at 6.30. Like, oh, well. Oh, I like and the way you that was think, early. but that's not the case. I had zero period because I was in band oh, and Oh, you Abbott. were the fucker that fucked up for everybody. <laughs> even worse. Even yeah. worse. Yeah, so it was me and Joel. So Joel was in elementary. His school started at 7 or something. 7.30. Yeah. I was... I was in elementary. My my zero period started at seven fifteen in the morning. Okay. So we had to drop me off and oh. Jason. And Jason had regular hours in my in uh what's it called in middle school. So he had started I think eight eight fifteen. Oh my gosh. So an hour before, <laughs> and he I know he'd be mad every single day, but it was only for one year. He only had to do it for one year. Dude. But he would be mad every single day because he would be going an hour earlier, and his no like friends of his were no there to show up. No one's there, dude. No one's like, there. Like breakfast, breakfast hasn't even started, no. so you have to wait like a whole like 30, 40 minutes, and then breakfast starts. You sit like a freaking <laughs> loner at a freaking table, and like when it's winter, it's still dark outside because we would have to go to school like in the six, like six in the morning. 
it was dark outside, so I'd have to stand there because they don't even open the gates to school till like I think it was like six forty five. Yeah. So I'm standing out there in the dark, right? Because oh well, there was not gonna be two trips. Oh my god, that's a whole. But you know what? I um, like give the biggest props to my mom because like her even getting up to take us at six a.m. was crazy. Yeah, that is crazy, huh? <laughs> yeah. Now that I think about it, I'm gonna be taking Joel to school for the first time in a couple of weeks. It's probably yeah, like a couple of weeks, and I have to wake up hella early. I'm gonna be that parent, bro. I'm gonna try to be yeah. the super senior. See if they let me on campus and text the principal, you but I did doubt that. it. I did do it, but Last year. but imagine like being in the classes with him. That would be cool. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not 21 yet. Oh yeah, I'm not 21 yet. Oh, I think it's 20, huh? I think it might be 20. Yeah. It might be 20 or 21, where you're not you're not allowed to do it. Yeah. I'm a, I'm gonna be like he's a bad kid. I have to like chaperone him the whole the whole day. See how he Come does. A, um, a teacher assistant or whatever. The, you know, part of me was like, should I do that? <gasps> Bro, just to be at school with my little brother. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> no, but that's it's actually like an cool. actual job. So like, you can't just like. I'll volunteer. Yeah, but it's still a job. Like right. you can't decide to go one day and not. Oh, day. you're right. Like it's like actual position. Like so, like you'd have to go every single. Nah, I won't volunteer because I'm not taking someone else's job, and I'd rather have that get the coin. But, but I'll they pay you nothing. Yeah, bro. Schools don't. They give you benefits though. I think they give you benefits. Nah, they still pay you nothing though. That's fucked up. Honestly, I think that that's really fucked up, and somebody needs to do something about that because there's no way that me as a YouTuber I make more money than a teacher because they actually know what the fuck they're talking about. Yeah. So yeah, they, something needs to be changed because. What do you think's so gonna flaws. happen? I, do you think like the the social media world is still gonna be on top of everything? Mm, nah, I feel like people it's, are getting sick of it. To be honest. The social media world is, I think, the highest aside from like stock stock markets and stuff. Yeah, but those people are like out the moon like we'll never reach them bro because you could be famous and making a million dollar for one brand deal a 60 second ad yeah that's not us though don't don't think that <laughs> hey that's gonna be us though that's gonna be us though mm -hmm. all right i don't know if i want to be doing social media at that point though well you never know you could blow up overnight i know but i think that for me the long i love my social media because i feel like i'm not big to where like i can't live my life i love it I feel like I get to just share my life. Like, I don't feel like I'm very much different than everybody else. Like, it, I love where I'm at in my life. Now, if I was like Charlie D'Amelio, right? I yeah, don't know if I would love my life. Everywhere you walk around, that would be crazy. Yeah, I don't. But then you get to that point, and I feel like she's sitting on so much money and everything that even though she gets all like the, the hate and like everything outside of her, uh, her house, like she gets stalkers and stuff like that. She, she has, like, that much money, you know? Yeah, but money isn't everything, right? Like, you couldn't... Even if I had, like, a billion dollars, me not being able to go to Target is crazy. Like, I don't know. That's just crazy to me. And, like, that would now suck. her kids have to deal with that because now they're, like, Charlie's kids, right? And, like, she's just a kid or she was just a kid when it happened. Do you think, like, it goes to a point, like, maybe, like, a couple years down the line as if she doesn't post anything and then she, like, falls off, I guess, and then she can go outside? Do you think it would be worth it then? Well, like, look at the Dolan twins, right? Like, they disappeared off of the internet. Right? Wait, who are the Dolan twins? Oh, my goodness. You don't know the Dolan twins? They carried YouTube. Wait, are those the twin brothers and then their 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 dad passed yes, away? Yes, yes. That's them, right? So, so they, I didn't watch them, but I like I would see TikTok clips of them, like, Oh, my God, them, I like, grew recently. up with them. I literally grew up with them. And so, like, they disappeared, right? But, like, it's now a mystery about, like, where they are, that when people do see them, oh. they'll, like, take pictures and be like, I saw them at da-da-da-da. So do you no see way. what I'm trying that's, to say? That's messed up. Like, I think that they did get away with it for a good part, though, because, like, I saw someone post, like, that they had seen. No, so this person, like, took a picture or a video or whatever. I think it was, like, at a concert. And you could just see, I don't know if it was Grayson. I think it was Grayson. In, like, the crowd. And then he's just, like, back, like, literally in the middle of a crowd. But, like, nobody was paying attention to him. And in this video, he ends up being, like, a backup character. Like, he was just, like, the video wasn't about him. The video was about the concert. And then t pages clipped it and were like, is this Grayson? Or whatever. Anyway, so he was able to do that. So I'm starting to think maybe, well, I think they're in Australia right now. What? I don't know where they're they are. living there. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think they're here. Well, they wouldn't be able. To You're part of the problem, bro. You're part of the problem. No, keeping up with it. Nah. Get, no, listen, listen, listen. Every time they get spotted, it's in Australia. Or like people say, like they ran off to go live with their girlfriends and whatever. So I think that maybe you could get away with it a little bit, but I don't think you'll ever really get away with it. Yeah, maybe not. Because then, if imagine he would have kept up with it those couple years that he was gone, he would have still been crazy. Yeah. I don't know. That's and they really decided to get off the internet and be done. Which I mean, they made their bag and dipped. Which is, I mean, that's how I'm trying to be. But <laughs> make your bag and dip. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but what if we have a golden retriever farm? We have to like.
It has to be public, like a farm, you know? No, I feel like that's what I'm saying. Like, I just love where I am in life. And like, part of me obviously wants to keep growing and stuff. I don't think you want to, I don't think you want to dip. I think you just want to branch out. Yeah. Like, so you start as this, as a YouTuber, whatever, and branch out. So you're a boss and then you manage this. I would just this. like, my dream is to like, get enough money, like start a cafe and be a barista for the rest of my life. Like, that- <laughs> I feel like that's just kind of like what my dream Dude, would be that's what all nat looks at every single day even especially after like working at the uh the co- what is it, the, the cafe shop? yeah it was really cool when's that video coming out actually on um, thursday okay so stay tuned for thursday so yeah especially after working your 12 hour shift you yeah. still want to do it and you, f- you have a like a really really good passion for it and i feel like that's the thing that sparks like your brain the yeah. most about doing stuff uh like you know how you were saying you have a bur- your burnout or whatever mm-hmm. I feel like coffee is what is your hobby that gets you back to life. Yeah, the dogs and yeah, yeah. the dogs and coffee. Yeah, I yeah, just, the dogs, coffee, Jacob. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just think that like I'm in a perfect like place in life right now, and like the people that watch me, it feels like one big like family right now, and it doesn't feel like you're bombarded with all this um, like, it opinions, feel like all these media, stuff. Which obviously, anytime I log on to TikTok, it's gonna be like a bunch of bullshit but that's just because that's what tiktok is now yeah i get you it's just what everybody wants to be a t-page like everybody wants to make their coin out of things so like that's just what it became now um uh, which by the way when is tiktok gonna get like removed their shit together and oh. like have you seen all the scams on tiktok where it's like i can't believe like donald trump is doing this or like i can't believe starbucks is doing this and then it swipes and it goes like type this code in i don't Bro, know no nah, they be posting that? like it sucks because look it it's bible verses bro it's like John three sixteen whatever and then they do they do a whole bunch of verses I'm swiping I'm like reading I'm getting like inspired like wow wow mm-hmm. use one two three fourteen move yeah. code I'm like ah oh, hell so now that I know like I see Bible verses or I see like inspirational stuff I'm like all right now hell no that's not even a user it's a fake yeah scammer. Dude, and like TikTok is flooded with this yeah so what's going on because I'm starting to think TikTok is allowing this yeah I don't know right because like there's no way that they're getting away with it like every time i scroll like after every five scrolls it's that <laughs> yeah, so Dude, just- it's so frustrating <laughs> like literally the tiktok app is the worst thing ever now like before it was bad but now it's really really bad it's like, horrible bro it's all scams like actual like literal like scams and it's all drama like i'm talking about like did you guys see what freaking you know Haley Bieber did today. Like, it's so frustrating. Like, what happened today in my life on TikTok? I remember there was an era. Do you remember, like, the um, whipped coffee era? I with missed the, that I, era. I remember the, the coffee with the peanut butter. That's the only one I remember. It was, like, whipped. And, like, that era was really cool when the people were, like, I don't know that. I think that was my favorite part. Like, literally, like, Charlie doing dances and blowing up. That was my favorite era. It yeah, my, all, like, I feel like my favorite era was when I, like, I started TikTok and I got a million views. Or like I got like 200 k views actually. It was 200k, 200k, whatever, and then I got like a million views finally for the first time. And it was crazy because like you don't see this. Like I wasn't anyone at the time. I still am not, mm-hmm. but like I was less than I was at right now. And it was cool to see people like engage with you. Yeah, and they, people actually cared to see the content. I and feel back like then, now it's not like that. Back then there was no hate. I feel like after the hype, because remember they had the hype ball or whatever. They're throwing the hype ball around, whatever. The what? The hype ball. Uh, no, what was that? Okay, so the hype ball was pretty much like. So Charlie got famous, and then uh, I feel like a little kid, like a T page. But so Charlie got famous with Dixie, and them, and then Addison, whatever, got famous, and then like they're having a war. Uh, the, that the was so stupid. The communities were having a war, so the the hype ball turned into like a hate ball. So then they had to pick sides and stuff, Do and you it think was that's crazy. Where it started? I think that's where it started mainly because that's where like I remember seeing TikTok being toxic was when they were like at their highest, and then they were competing. I don't, I started seeing the toxicity probably like, so TikTok blew up in 2020, right? Yeah. Yeah. So blew up in 2020 and then I joined probably like mid 2020. And then I think I really started to see the hate bad. (laughs) We hate TikTok, but that's how we met. I know. That's crazy, right? Well, that was a good era. Yeah, it was. It was good at the time. Yeah. Something happened within like, I think 2022 and 2023. I feel like that's when it just, I feel like there wasn't, because the platform was new. Right. There wasn't a lot of like, obviously, people moving from like YouTube and Instagram to TikTok. So like, I feel like the news pages and then the T pages that were brand new on TikTok were probably like thriving. And I think that that inspired other T pages. And then it all became kind of like a chain. And now all you see is like reposts of like everyone's lives like people are just doing their makeup minding their business and well, like, when you think about it it's just like the news stations the news stations is just all the tea it's so frustrating because i just want to see like a day in my life i just want to see somebody make some fucking coffee i want to see a cool dance like that's what i want to see i don't like 
And like literally for as much as I hit not interested, it keeps coming back and I don't interact with it, which is the most frustrating part because like, you know, when you interact with something like it'll keep popping up. Yeah. Dude. I don't interact with it. You put I do not interact. I you put, put the three dots. Do I not, put inter- not, interested, not interested. Not interested. <laughs> not interested. Not interested. And it keeps because there's so much of it. Whenever I put like not interested, it doesn't come up back for me. Oh my God. It's just a different page that'll come up, but it's the same. Oh, shit. I like, get oh you. My <laughs> fucking like, it's so frustrating. I just want to see like real stuff on TikTok or like, you know, people do shopping or some, something like something, you know, like for my brain. That's why I love YouTube till this day, because YouTube is very like, I get inspired on YouTube. I, I watch YouTube and I'm like, oh my gosh, like this is so cool. Like, you know, this person just did a whole, like, you know, driving video. I'm like, well, that's fucking cool. Like, I don't know. I get inspired and I get good stuff from YouTube. I uh-huh. get, like, just inspiration and motivation, just everything. On TikTok, I just get drama. It's so frustrating. But by the same time, like, TikTok's the easiest place to find anything you need. You search you search anything up, how to do a recipe, how... And they're all old videos because nobody's making that they're, shit. They are old videos, actually. That's like what I'm you, saying. You click them and then it's like 2022, 2021. And I'm like, nah, damn, now that I realize that it was Right, true. that was good TikTok. It was when people were making good videos. Damn. And like, I'm trying to put out, because obviously I'm saying all this, so I'm trying to make TikTok that way, like for the people that watch me, right? So mm. I'm trying to put out like drive with me's and like good stuff that, you know, people can come on my page and like see real content. Yeah. Not just a bunch of bullshit, right? <laughs> so I'm trying to do that, obviously, but then I just get discouraged and I'm like, dude, I'm not going to change anything. Like, mm. I'm one person out of like billions of people on TikTok. Like I'm not going to change anything. So I get discouraged, but then I'm like, no, Nat, like you can, can make a like positive impact for people, but it's like, oh my God, like I'm just, I just don't want to do it because it's so frustrating. And I just don't see a difference by obviously me doing my part. Um, there's this girl that I follow and her name's Emily. Um, and she like blew up and I fucking love her videos because I feel like she's one of the only people that has been doing normal content. She does like, morning like routines and she'll like go do errands babe I, we can hear that i'm sorry like she'll go do errands and just do normal stuff you know what i think it is i think it's maybe because she has that tiktok like that she's creating so then you see all that stuff and it inspires you to do it again like do it for yourself you know so if you see all that coffee stuff for the next like two days obviously you're gonna make a coffee one too yeah but no, if you see I, like I, all I, these tea pages then you're gonna be like bro i'm just scrolling and scrolling you're scrolling for hours and then you at the end of the day you're like why was I on TikTok? I feel like shit. And then I'm you like, have to I go do something. Mm-hmm. No, but I am on coffee TikTok. Like a lot of people do pop up. There's this girl that I follow. Her name's Kat. And she always does coffee. And I literally love watching her videos. And even when, sorry, am I really close? No, no, no. I'm just trying to like get it out of your, it's, it's not in your face. No, it's in, it's all in your way, face though. You think so? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. There you go. Um, Even like when I see that, it's it'll be like three coffee TikToks and then more bullshit. And I'm like, oh <laughs> my. Like. I, I think I think there's a way to clear your I don't know cash or cache whatever, and I think it that clears all of the uh, I don't know I'm just making this up, but like your to reset my your, TikTok. your what you like. Oh my god, I need to do that. Like I'm literally try it though. I don't know dude, if it's so true. One time I actually saved this like country audio, and it was the best time of my entire life because guess what? Because I saved that country audio, I oh got my. like normal people shit for a few days. That's right, part of the algorithm. Saving an audio? Saving audio. Like, so if, if someone saves my audio, then it's going to get recommended to others. And then when you say the audio, that stuff's going to pop up on your For You page more often. Oh my often. gosh, I wonder if that's real. Let I think that is real. that's a real thing. But, like, I saved that country audio. And then, like, the next few ones were, like, um, this girl who was living, like, a farm life with her kids. And I was <laughs> like, wait, this is cool. And I was having cool TikToks for a little bit, but then they went away. It just, it's very frustrating. Damn, I didn't think about that. Mm-hmm. And if you're watching this, please create content on TikTok that's, like, very good. Like, I... Because if it pops up on my For You page, I'm going to be so happy and I'm going to give it a like and I'm just going to interact with it. Like, let's go back to the era where we create real content on TikTok and not just a bunch of shit to blow up and like trendy stuff. Like, not everything has to be trendy, right? Yeah, not everything like, has to be trendy. No, keep, like, let's keep trends going, obviously, but not everything has to be about a trend. Like, if, I don't know, I just think that, oh my gosh, so I made this TikTok when I was <laughs> wearing these um new balances or whatever. <laughs> Bro, that shit went on men TikTok. I was like, bro. It's because when you put, like, I feel like when you go on shoe TikTok, then it has to go on guy TikTok. On guy TikTok? Yeah. Hey, they were fire. They, they, the shoes are nice. Hating ass men. But yeah, please create normal What do they content. say? What do they tell bro, you? Bro, they were just like dick riding, like all this shit. Because <laughs> like, I guess New Balance is like the new wave now for it shoes. It is the new wave. But like that kind of trend, stay on those. Like, I feel like on- there's only one. I've only seen one pair of shoes of New Balances that were really nice. But it's because they look just like the Adidas Yeezys, you know? 
They look just like, what were they? I think they're the, what do I have? I think the 700s. They look similar to those. So You know what I never fell for? And I'm grateful till this day that I never actually went out and purchased a pair of these. Jordans? Nope. Um, wait, 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 let me think. What does it start with? Every girl had these and they were the thing. Literally, were they shoes or were they, they were shoes? Oh, every girl had them, right? They were the girls that were blowing up at the time because it was very trendy and it was the ugliest thing in the world. And although I am so for following like clothing, I know it, stuff, I know it. What is it? Doc Martens. No, Fuck. those are, st- those are never going to go out of tr- uh, style. These went out of style, but like. I'm so for following clothing trends because I feel like it does keep you very youthful. But this was something that I could not ride because I'm just not this type of girl. Don't say it. Don't say it. Let me guess. Give me a hint. Every girl. Every girl. Yeah. I'm they thinking thought of, they slayed every outfit with these. So in my head, I'm thinking Converse, but Converse no. are nice. No, Converse are nice, and those will always be in style. It was the big-ass platform filas. The oh. chunky, <laughs> fat-ass, like... Girls that were like 100 pounds had these fat motherfuckers and it looked like they could barely lift these up every time they would walk. Do you know what I'm talking about? Please tell me you know what I'm talking about. Babe. Yes. Nah, yes. bro. Those. Those. No, it was these. It was these. Look at Oh, yeah. There's people wearing those. No, too. it was those right it there. It was these. Uh. Dude, and they were big. And like the bigger the shoe, the more like the cooler you were. Like it was the shit. <laughs> it was like the opposite of back then. You know how like you had the long, the bigger the wig, the longer the wig, the cooler you were, the more rich you were. That's how it was. That's why like George Washington has like a cool. Oh. So like the longer the wig, I think, then like the, the richer you were, the richer you, really? sh- you showed yourself. Yeah. So the, I guess with the feel is the, the bigger the platform, then the cooler you are. Dude, I remember my mom, <laughs> when she would pick me up from school, she'd be like, dude, I used to wear these when I was like 15. No way they're cool again. I was like, yeah, everybody had, I could never get my, because in high school, I was like literally like 95 pounds, right? If I tried to put on those big ass fucking that's shoes, heavy. I look like a clown. And that's heavy. Like a clown, like a literal clown. You know how clowns have those big ass like shoes? Like it was crazy. And I'm so glad I never hopped onto that one. Do you balance this? I think they're cute. You know? Well, I don't think you would look like a clown if you had like a, a smaller foot, but it's because oh, you okay, you, you do have a big foot. I'm not gonna lie. Like you, I pay I pay the same price I pay for my shoes. Oh, for okay, yours. buddy, you don't have to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I know I have a big, I have a long skinny foot. It makes me so mad. <laughs> that, that thing big, bro. Think of a bunny. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you have you have rabbit feet. It's all good though. It's all good. Bigger the feet. I'm so mad. Why would you say that? I'm insecure. I think that's why. Like, you're projecting. You're like, I didn't wear this because my feet would have looked big. But it's because you had big feet. I guess so, yeah. No, but girls with their little four, like, size four shoes, they still look crazy. I don't think it would have looked as bad, though. Well, yeah, no, duh. A big ass foot is going to look worse. But that doesn't mean the girls with the little feet still didn't look bad. Like, I'm (laughs) telling you, when you're, like, so tiny and you're wearing shoes that are, like, 10 pounds each... (laughs) <laughs> it's silly, babe. Yeah, like ro- wearing rollerblades, I feel like I look dumb. But that, you're talking about rollerblades here. This is a whole different topic. What are you talking about? You can't wear rollerblades every day. These <laughs> girls would slay every outfit or think that they would slay every outfit with them. <laughs> you're a hater, bro. No, bro. I'll never get, like, you know how bad it looked? Oh, no. That's but you know what did he eat? What, what, what? The hair clips. Like, I could never eat with the hair clips, but a lot of girls did eat. Oh, you know what we need to talk about? What do we okay, need to talk so about? Okay, so the other day, we were, not the other day, literally like yesterday, we were driving and we were trying to listen to one of our favorite podcasts. And Jake was, you had said that like, oh, I didn't like this podcast because they were off, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's talk about that. Because I feel like when you said that, and I noticed it too when I was like listening to it, I was like, damn, like that's true. And it makes me so sad because I feel like we do have those days too. Yeah, it does. Cause I feel like for us to film a podcast and be able to like want to post it, we have to know that we're good on good vibes. We have good vibes. Like mm-hmm. it, we could, we could do as much as we want. We could fake it for the camera, but by the end of the podcast, the vibes are going to be the same as if we had a great day and we're going to film a podcast, you know? Mm-hmm. So, and watching like, and listening to that podcast, I felt for them like, they were not arguing, but they were, like, doing bitter reactions with each other. So, yeah. I was, it was very hard, like, to listen to it because, like, they are so stuck up with each other. And I was like, like, I get it. It's a, rela- it's a, it's how you guys are, but that's what everyone is. Every couple is. Every but, couple's like that, yeah. But it's just hard for me, like, to want to post that because, I don't know, I, don't, I got, but like. But we're like that, like, sometimes, too. Yeah, but so, but I didn't like listening to it. Like, them, I knew that they were bad, on bad terms or whatever because I heard that podcast. Yeah. And it doesn't give a good, like. It I don't it, it doesn't matter if it doesn't give a good thing like for, but it just made the listener feel I felt some type of way like listening to it. You just 
you feel like you know like you know when you're with someone that's having an argument and yeah like, that's uh, how it was <laughs> it was like you're the you're third you're what is it called third 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 uh not third partying i'm thinking of gaming bro like when you're when you're when there's a couple wheeling? third wheeling <laughs> third, yeah, but negative when you're third, third party yeah no no no. so when you're third third wheeling and then like the couple's fighting you're that yeah. person in the back that's listening to the fight but bro. it's sad because that happens to everyone mm-hmm. and like we have caught ourselves doing it like a few times yeah. and like there's certain podcasts that we post that i'm like oh like we just weren't at the like i don't know like our vibes weren't fully there and that's not how we are everybody has those days right but i feel like listening to that and me putting myself in that position i was like fuck like i don't want my listeners to ever feel that way yeah and i'm sure they have maybe i'm sure they have but like it does suck because it is real it's a real thing like obviously you're not on always good terms with like your significant other or even just your partner that let's say you could start a podcast with your sibling doesn't matter like at the end of the day you're never going to be fully on good terms every single day yeah it doesn't have to be a partner it could be anyone right like your co-worker it could be yeah it literally could be anyone if you're not on good terms but like unfortunately you have to film a podcast right then and there like sometimes the vibes do go through um on the internet and again it doesn't necessarily mean that you guys are always like that but it does pass through and when i was hearing that i was like fuck like i don't ever want to film a podcast when me and you are not like fully f- on the same page yeah yeah i didn't i don't know like we we're listening to that podcast for 20 30 minutes and i thought it was like maybe a section of the podcast where they're like having their arguments or like whatever and it was like the entire 30 minutes that I was listening to it. So I was like, I can't listen to this podcast anymore. I have to switch it. I have to go to a different podcast because I, I felt the vibes in my whole body. I didn't want to hear that because I'm like the biggest person. Where like if if there's an argument going on, I don't want to talk. Like I just want to uh, put myself 24 hours in the next, in the, uh, in the next like to the next day. I don't want to be in that situation anymore. So I didn't, I could have just switched the podcast, which I did. And I don't know. I didn't like that vibe that they were giving. Yeah, and we do that too. So I think that was a. But I feel like since since we we understand that we give off that vibe, we don't really do it, and we but like for the whole day we try like not to have those arguments and stuff like that. So. Yeah, but it's difficult, and I do feel for them though because filming with someone is really difficult, even when you're on amazing terms. So if they were bumping heads all day, right, and then they have to sit down and have a conversation, and. You know, if someone says something and they ix the other person the wrong way, it just can be bad. And I do feel for them because obviously that's your job and that's something that you have to continue to do whether you like it or not. So for me, the lesson that I took from that was if I'm not feeling it, I'm just not going to do it. And like, yeah. obviously, like me and you, um, like I would say we're really good together, but obviously like it is hard because we're young and. You know, there's stuff that you do that I'm just like, oh my God, like, when is this going to stop? And vice versa. Like, I'm sure there's things that you're like, when is this bitch going to stop doing that? You know what I mean? I don't think that, but. I'm sure you do. Like, when you're mad, I'm sure you do. So it's like. Not that, that that degree is different, bro. That's crazy. No, okay. Sorry, my language is not your language. But like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get you. So it's like, obviously, like, we do ick each other more than your average person because we live together and we're young and we're just both immature still. And it's just this whole thing. So moving forward, we are not going to be having bad vibes while we're on the podcast yeah. and we're going to restrict doing things that the other person doesn't like, you know, which we do like we don't, you know, like fucking fight all day. It's not the way it is, but the same way, like, you know, when you're at home with your sibling and he fucking leaves your door open and you're like, you piece of fucking <laughs> shit and close my door. It's the same way in a relationship. Maybe there's just obviously like a little more. There's more respect with your partner, I feel. Right. I agree. Yeah, because that was well spoken, bro. You're well spoken. I wish I was like that. I'm not well spoken like that. You are. I can't get my point across. I can never yeah, get my you, point across yeah, you through. Can't. Your like, points are messy. Yeah, my points are crazy. Yeah, bro. sometimes Jake will say something, and at the end of it, I'm like, I feel like when I talk slow, like if I'm talking <laughs> slow like this, then I could think like I have more uh, time in my mind to think, but I still like had those stutters, you know. It's not the stuttering. I think it's because I'm trying to speak too fast. Mm-mm. It's not that What either. do you think? You don't think I'm a good explainer? So I used to think, so when we first got together, um, I thought that it was the stuttery. <laughs> Let me find out I got like a brain D4 or no, something, No, no, I don't think it's that either. I, at first I thought it was the stuttering, but I stuttered too. So I'm like, it's not that. And then I thought, yeah, maybe it's because you're trying to think too fast, but it's not that either. Okay, what is that? What are you self-diagnosing me with? I think... <laughs> Damn. After knowing you for like it's gonna be four years. I'm now. happy, bro. I'm getting diagnosed with this. I, Listen, my whole life I didn't know what was wrong with me, but now I'm gonna know. Today we're gonna know my no, doctor. Matt. I think that you definitely need to see someone. 
But where do you start? Where do you see someone that? I think you start with a, um, what is it called? Therapist? I think you start with a therapist. <laughs> Damn. They're gonna, I'm going to be going for my brain, but they're going to be hearing me pour my heart out. Bro. I wonder if, no, do therapists like diagnose like medical, like not just psychological I think, stuff? No, no, no. I think they have, I have, I think they have connects because I feel like therapy there's therapy but uh-huh. there's branches inside therapy so they have to have like connects to outside uh, maybe they're like oh i think you have this and then they'll move you to someone who knows more about that topic maybe or Probably. they have their connects like personally yeah i think that you should definitely see someone because um obviously i don't want to sit here and diagnose you on anything but i think that a professional will know kind of exactly what it is but anyways back to but that's something else <laughs> that me and you have had a conversation about which i'm not going to go on here and talk about because if you want to talk about it one day you can but Let's well, talk about thing, it. You want to talk about yeah, it? Yeah, I'm down. Okay, go ahead. So, like, are you talking about, like, how I, I can never stop moving yes, and stuff? Yeah. So, I, I don't know why, but ever since I was little, bro, like, little things. Like, now I was talking earlier, and I, I didn't even realize, but if you could, like, go back, like, five minutes ago, I seen, on, uh, I seen on the screen, like, I was doing this with my fingers. I didn't even notice, and I'm, like, I look at the thing, and I'm, like, if I was watching this YouTube video, I'm going to be looking at the bottom of the screen. And I'm I, instead of, like, hearing the podcast, mm-hmm. you know? So, I was, like, hold up. And I went like this. So if you rewind, you could like see me doing it. And like, see, I, I see myself going crazy or something, but I don't know. I feel, I feel bad because I can't control it sometimes. Um, I think you have like, like flare ups. Like sometimes you're worse than like you normally are. Cause there's some where you can be a little still, but it doesn't like, I don't know. Sometimes you're like really bad. And I wonder if it's because of certain things that will like trigger it. I, I just don't know. See, because you're not diagnosed, we don't know how to help you. Yeah, because it's not like I take energy drinks every day, but I no, realize I realize when I do take energy drinks, like I'm shaky. So I'm like this, like, like if I'm if I'm editing, I'm like this, like editing, shaking my hands. Like but something. that's me too. But that's me too. Oh, I is think it? Okay. That might be the caffeine, and I think with potentially, if you have something, it could just like clash and heighten. Like yeah, maybe. Crazy, but I think that definitely you should definitely see someone because. I can't help you because I don't know what I'm talking about in that area. Yeah, like when I'm even with you, when I'm, like today earlier when we were shopping, like I was on my phone, like I'm just trying to like, just do something, you know? Yeah. I was just like on my phone or I'm like looking so do around. Do you think iPad like, kids have some connection with like ADHD? I don't think so because the term iPad kids, I feel like is is where you just give your kid the phone, you give the kid the iPad so you don't have to deal with them as much, you know? Yes, but I also think iPad kids is like somebody that can't eat without being on their phone. Oh, so like the iPad, like, like the iPad kids as they're grown up. Yes, the grown oh, up iPad kids. Like how on like there's TikToks of like when I'm dating an iPad kid, you know? Yes, and it's like where he's always on his phone playing a game, yeah, I get doing you. something. And I feel like that's because you. I'm an iPad kid. Like when when you're at your family's house, I have to be playing the game but or I have really to be like severe. around. Like you can never be without doing something on your phone. Yeah. Now I don't think that that's like an addiction to your phone because I feel like that's what people are going to think. But it's not that because it's very weird. Like it's. Like if I'm, I'm not like I'm not like swiping through my phone apps no, and everything. It's just like not. one thing. Like he's just doing something. Like to get, you know get those, my mind like, off of it. You know those games where it's like you know like crossword puzzles or stuff like that. That's the vibe. It's that, and it's always when we're. It could be anywhere. Like he just has to be doing something. So and I feel bad for you because you, I I do understand. Like if you were always like I would be like oh chill bro chill bro. Mm-hmm. You know, I, and I catch myself now, but I, I don't even know how I was doing in the beginning podcast when we first started this. Yeah. Cause I feel like a podcast is the hardest thing to do because you don't really cut anything. So they're going to see me the entire time. But as if it was a only, YouTube video, then I like, cut stuff out. Like yeah. I could zoom in on you while I'm like, I think it only frustrates me when we have to do a podcast because you're always like hitting the mic, moving mm. the mic, kicking this, kicking that. And that's like when I'm like, <laughs> okay, Jake, we have to, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> i'm good okay like that's when it frustrates me because i'm like no like people like this is some a product that we're putting out and it needs to be perfect yeah um or re- like when i'm trying to speak to you in public and like you're not paying attention to me and i'm like see like today when you're talking about me about the certain stuff you're talking to me about like yeah, i was, was just like zoning out yeah i was really <clears> frustrated because i was trying to speak to him and he was like you know what now that i think about that when i yawn i'm not tired or sleepy like earlier in the podcast i had Two or three yawns, but I was like, and I was like closing my mouth. I was like, I think because you are bored and you need something to do. That's my point. That it all comes so back I get to off, you. I do get to off do topic. Something. 
So, yeah, I don't know. I feel like the best thing for you to do is to um, see someone. And obviously, maybe we're hallucinated, which I don't think we are because I've noticed it since the first day I met you. And it's funny because I remember my parents noticing it and them asking me if they're like, this kid, what's this kid doing? They they were very confused because Mm -hmm. it's very like, um, we're not like, like me and my siblings, we don't really have like anything like that. But for you, like, I think also when you're nervous, you get worse. Like you get um, like. When you're very nervous, you just start doing random stuff or like moving your head or like doing a lot of like, yeah. like random movements. Um, and I remember being like, maybe, but I never wanted to ask you. And then you started saying like, oh, my ADHD, my ADHD. Yeah, I always self like diagnose myself as but bad as it you sounds. Need to see someone with ADHD or something. Yeah, I think that you need to see someone so they can help you for one. But I'm really scared of taking the medications that requires you to calm down because what if I change like my whole mood? Like I'm not the joyful person that I am. You know, what if I I calm down to the point where it's like I'm I'm boring. You know, mm-hmm. I don't I just don't want to be that uh, that person. I don't I don't want the medicine to change me or anything. And then I don't want, want to get addicted to that medicine. Yeah. I've heard I heard a lot of people get addicted to Adderall and stuff like that. So I don't want to become that. And if I don't have to right now, like. I feel like I could control it a little bo- a little better, but it just takes a little bit more time. Yeah, I just think that whenever you're bored, it gets really bad. Yeah, I agree. Like whenever you're really, really bored. Because when you're doing, like, sports and stuff, well, even then, though, you, like... Not sports, not really. Yeah, you... Because I'm, I'm focused on winning the game. I feel like at night, it gets the worst because yeah. it's, like, all the energy built up th- throughout the day, and, like, I have to go to... That's why, like, at night, sometimes I'm like, I just want to play the game real quick. Because if I can go play the game, then, like, I get tired fast. And I just go to sleep. Yeah, but that's also not. <laughs> no. I'm not making this up. Sorry. Yeah, we're not game. doing nah. that. We're not doing no, that. No, but I feel like I do play the game just to the health, I guess. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up right now. Yeah, I think that's not that's not correlated. Hey, maybe. All. You know what they say people with ADHD are good for? They're, they're, they say that they're good for streams. Like for streams? Yeah, streaming. So, like, as if this was live right now. Like, I could be doing boom, 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 boom. And then they'd be enjoying that yeah, content. Yeah, like, sometimes in the lives, like, when you get really flared up, um, I'd be that content creator, bro. Kinda, I'm like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. Because I don't ever want to make you feel like a certain way. And like, I also don't want people to like say anything either. Like, I feel like I'm very like, if you say something about it, like it pisses me off really bad. Like, I don't know. Like, so well, I feel I, I, like. I'm lost. Like when people say things about it, like. About what? It, it frustrates me. Like about you. Oh, like, like you, you get, you get triggered when. Yeah, what's wrong because, with Jake? Yeah, because uh, I just don't think that it's anybody's place in mm-hmm. a way. I don't know. I just. I don't think it's hard though. Like if you guys see it and you guys comment it, I, I really don't mind. Like I'm like, my bad, my bad. It doesn't hurt me. It doesn't hurt me. I know, me. but it makes me mad. So like there's just a lot. Like I feel like when we're on live, especially, I'm uh-huh. just kind of like, I don't know what to do in that situation. And like. Sometimes I'll be like, calm down. Yeah, I remember like um, people get mad at it though. Like when they're like, Nat, Nat's, uh, Nat grabbed Jacob's hand, like blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah, people I'm just like, out of, yeah, like I, I, I like how you do that though, because you're just like this. And I'm like, I take yeah, a little breath. So she grabs my hand like, and I take a little breath. Because I could tell that he's very um, stimulated. Overstimulated. <laughs> but yeah, there's just a bunch of stuff with that that you need to for sure. Um, if you guys know with. where I can start and get like a diagnosis from a professional, let me know. Or not a diagnosis, but like speak to someone. Yeah. I feel like that would be very good. Anyways, <laughs> but but wait, wait, the wait, 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 wait. How am I going to speak to someone if I can't even speak to begin with? Bro? You can't. Okay, back to the original <laughs> diagnosis. Not not this whole. Let me talk to you guys about my theory about Jacob. <laughs> Maybe this has something to do with it, though. Maybe. And we're, like, not putting the pieces together. Okay. This is so a puzzle, bro. Jacob, he's not the best at explaining, like, anything. When like, it comes to directions or recipes, bro. Do nothing. Anything. Like, he's so bad. And this part kind of frustrates me because I'll be like, what happened here? And he won't be able to tell me. Like, especially when we're watching movies and you fall asleep and I try to catch you up. But when it's you trying to catch me up, you're like telling me every single detail. But I, I go from like that. here, I, I lag, I start here, I lag, I start there again. So maybe it is connected. But I used to, th- I didn't notice. Okay, so at first I thought maybe you're just slow, right? Because <laughs> there's people that are genuinely yeah, just yeah. slower. Like, I feel like that is a thing too, though. Because I'm a very fast person. So I don't expect everybody to be on the same pace as me. However, I thought, okay, maybe he's just slower. Right. Yeah. People are slow. Like there's people that are slow. There's people that are fast. And that's just the way you're born. And oh, well. So I thought, OK, maybe he's just slow. But then, you know, and then I thought maybe it's the stuttering and stuff. But then it wasn't that. And then as months went on and like I remember this very clearly, you tried to explain something to me and Edith and Paz's car one time that we had snuck out. And you said you were try- it was a game and he was trying to explain this game. And he had said something like, 
Oh, yeah, you put something. In. Oh, it's that fucking game where you have a word here. Oh, uh, I know what you're talking about. Charades. No, no, Char- no. It, Like a version of charades, like a version of that. But it wasn't charades. He goes, oh, yeah, you put something here. You go, da, 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 and then like that. You get it? That's exactly what he said. And the game was like, not that at all. <laughs> and I remember like listening to it. And I couldn't believe what I had just heard. And I remember Edith looked at me. And I looked at Edith. And I was, I just couldn't believe that that's what he had said because at this point, this was like the beginning stages of me like talking to Jacob. And that's when I started realizing more that like this guy could not explain anything like at all. And then it got worse because like whenever I would have like now, like whenever I have Jacob call anyone or like, you know, do any of that stuff. I don't word things properly. Dude, he'll call, like let's say he's calling the vet to ask about, you know, what was freaking Ellie's diagnosis. He'll call and be like, Oh, hi, I'm Jacob. I was just um, calling to check up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like ask, like, what's her current condition? Is she doing like, all right? And stuff like that. Like, he'll literally call. Like, this has happened before. And they'll be like, okay, like, I think they were like, okay, like, for what patient? Like, they were just so confused. So I, this is where I go wrong. I go in and do it. Yeah, and instead of letting me figure it out. Yeah, and because I get really frustrated, so I'm like, okay, I'll just do it. I'll do it. Never mind. Like, I'll call. I'll do this, right? Or, like, we were having some issues with, like, some, like, payroll stuff, and he had this issue going on for weeks, No, dude. it was, like, two months, three months. Dude, it was so frustrating. And so, like, he would call and just be like, oh, hi. I was just calling to follow up with, or I was just calling because I had an issue with this and this and this. Not And, like, if I am, like, no, okay, like, that's not how you do this. Like, this is You're like, I've been my- calling for the past two months. I need to get this done. Why isn't it working? Like, yeah, because he would, every time, they would just, like, throw him around with different people. Like, he would never know how to address the problem. And it was just this big issue. So then that's... That's when I realized that this is deeper. Like, I feel like maybe it has to do with like some kind of like social anxiety because uh-huh. you don't know how to speak to people. But again, now I'm starting to think it could be tied in with everything. So yeah. I don't know. It's this whole it thing. It probably is tied in with something though. But like I said, if you guys know where we can start or where I can start getting like a therapist, yeah. let me know. I'm not. Well, we know where we can start. It's all about you saying you want to start. Mm-hmm. we can get you the therapist is the easiest part it's about you wanting to yeah and we have revisited this conversation a few times and we never really got ready, this deep though we never ever yeah. i don't know i was i sound like i wasn't comfortable but i was like nah i'm brushing it off it's like i don't need it but i feel like i kind of do now hearing hearing this stuff it's difficult <laughs> for sure yeah like i can't like it must be difficult for you and it's i wish like, i can explain stuff that would be too. cool but like hearing you explain things, I'm like, damn, that's that's nice, that's cool. Like I have a girlfriend that I got a bad bitch. <laughs> that's what it is. No, but again, I used to always just think that it was you being slow, babe. But, but I don't think it's that anymore. Yes, I don't know. I think as we've gotten deeper into like obviously knowing you and stuff, I've picked up on different things, and I'm like, okay, like that's interesting. Well, I guess we got a new title for the pod. <laughs> I know, oh my gosh. <laughs> and I I want this to like help people out there because. I think when it comes to like mental health and stuff like that, if you don't have it, like for example, I don't have any kinds of mental health, right? Like, so I feel like for me, it's a lot harder to understand it. And I had no idea about anything, right? So like meeting Jake and like, you know, seeing like some different stuff that were about us, like just like different people that I've met in life now and stuff, it's very difficult. And I feel like nobody believes it. And, and I feel like everything is just very brushed off. Kind of like how Jake brushes everything off. And I think that there's solutions to things and getting the help you need is important. Yeah, I agree. And I feel like we have for sure been brushing this off. But no, we've talked about it. We've had this conversation a few times. Uh Uh-huh. But yeah, never this deep. You guys have got the inside scoop of us speaking about this. But I hope you guys don't feel alone if there's anyone out there that feels anything like this because... It's definitely hard. It's, yeah. But yeah, I think that's going to wrap up our one hour and four minute podcast. If you guys did enjoy... Don't forget to click the link and subscribe or whatever. Click, click like I put up videos up here. So click these videos right there. Watch our other podcasts. Or if you want to get something a little more crazy and you're like fast paced, I have some YouTube videos on my channel, on her channel and our couple's channel. So stay tuned for those and click on those. Watch those channels and link in the description. And that's going to close off today's podcast. (laughs) Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.